Hey guys, um, new video, we're gonna be doing some notes today and we're gonna be talking about irregular verbs, specifically two irregular verbs. We're gonna talk about three briefly, but we're gonna focus on two in depth, okay? So two irregular verbs. What we need to know about irregular verbs going in, they're irregular. They do some weird things, they don't look like regular verbs, that's why they're irregular. And we've already seen one irregular verb to be, sum esse fui futurum, so sum esse, sum esse sunt, eram eras erat, eramus eratus erant, um, and ero eris erit, eremus eritus erant. So far, that's what we've seen, okay? So I'm gonna put some notes up here. Um, you can take, follow along, take these notes with me. You can uh, go to your book, chapter 18, uh, pages 130 through like 134, um, and we'll go from there, okay? So follow along with these notes. I would write these down or underline stuff in your book that have these same concepts, stuff like that, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and jump in, and remember, irregular verbs are irregular, so they look different, so don't get too frustrated or confused if you don't get it um, right away, okay? So here we go. Irregular verbs, okay. So the three main irregular verbs we're gonna be talking about today are number one, ao, ere, ee slash e, we, ictum. Eo, ere, ee, or item. Hopefully you guys can see that. I think you can. I think you guys can see that well enough. Okay, excellent. Eo, ere, ee, item. That's the first one. This word means to go. The second word we're gonna be looking at is Faro Fere Tuli Latin Faro Fere Tuli Latin this word means to carry or bring. So that's the first one and the second one. The third one is hosum pose potui. But we're going to focus on these two today, all right? This one we'll talk about when we talk about compound verbs later, okay? So, right off the bat, we need to talk about eo, ere, iwi, item, to go. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and conjugate these for you in the present, future, and imperfect tense, okay? So that's the present tense. 
singular, plural, first, second, third person. Eo, is, it, imus, itis, aeon. So notice, just like every other verb, to get our stem for the present tense, we go to the second principal part, we chop off the re. For eo, ire, that leaves us with an I. So we have I plus our ending. Not so hard, but it's really weird for us to have a stem that's only one letter, okay? So eo, is, it, imus, itis, iant. The translations are still the same. Eo means I go. Is means you go. It means he, she, or it goes. Imus, we go. Itis, y'all go. Aunt, they go. So the translations remain the same. The same. You don't need to freak out about that or wonder about that. The translations are the same. They just look weird. Okay, that's it. Not so bad so far. For the imperfect, the imperfect tense, we have ibam, ibas, ibat, ibamus, ibatus, ibant. So for the imperfect tense, for eo ire, the same thing. I, stem, plus our imperfect endings. So ebom, ebos, ebot, ebamus, ebotus, ebont. Not so bad, not so hard so far. Just weird stem, endings are the same, it's not so bad. Okay, so let's do the future tense. Ebo, Ebis, Ebit, Ebimus, Ebitus, Ebunt. So Eo Ere, even though it's an irregular verb, really isn't that bad. It just looks a little weird because we only have a stem. We only we have a stem with only one letter. Okay, so the endings are the same: bomb, bus, bot, or and bovis bit. It's just we had a long i there because that's our stem. And e bomb means I was going, or I kept on going, or I used to go. E bomb by itself means that, just like e boss means you were going, ebot, he, she, or it was going, or ebamus, we were going, ebotis, y'all were going, or ebont, they were going. Ebo, same thing, I will go, ebis, you will go, ebit, he, she, or it will go, ebimus, we will go, ebitus, y'all will go, and ebont, they will go. The translations are the same, they just look weird. So that's eo ire, okay, that's e eo ire. Another thing to look at for these irregular verbs is specifically for these irregular verbs, we really, really need to know, and we need to know well, the four principal parts. So eo ire, and if you look with me at the third principal part, is weird. It has one slash and then a different one. And that's because the third principal part can be either one of those and we'll see either one of those work as the third principal part. So this really comes into play with the perfect tense. Sometimes for this word, you will see 
ii in the first person singular or iisti or iit or iimus iistus or iarunt you'll also see i v imperfect or sorry i v perfect tense ending so e we e wistus e weren't all those things you can see or you will see them use both of those stems because you can because apparently the romans just wanted to okay so that is confusing but also not the worst thing in the world you're not having to learn brand new endings um it's fine it's all good i hope i hope let's move on to the next verb So again, before I move on, we need to know all four principal parts very well, okay? So now we're gonna do pharaoh, pharaoh. And pharaoh fere does something that we haven't seen a verb do so far, and that is end, and by end I mean the stem ends without a vowel. So let me show you what that looks like. First person is going to be pharaoh. Second person, fares. Third person, ferret. First person plural is interesting because we do add an I there. Fair Emmas. Fair Tis. And Fair on. So the first person and third person plural add a vowel an I, and then a U. But for everything else, it's just F-E-R, present tense ending, which is weird. There's no real way to remember that. Just memorize it. Let's move on. <clears throat> so Pharaoh Fere in the imperfect and future tense, use third conjugation endings, okay? And those are the weird looking ones-ish. So they use third conjugation endings. Let's take a look. For the imperfect tense, what that looks like is, fair a bomb, fair a Bas, fair a bot, fair a bombus, fair a botis, and fair a bond. Now for the future tense. The future tense uses third conjugation endings as well. What that looks like is Feram, Ferace, Ferret, Fer Amos, Fer Atis. Parent.
So those are the two main irregular verbs, and we really need to know those super, super well, because they're gonna show up in a lot of different stuff. And especially AOERA, when we talk about compound verbs tomorrow, um, they're going to be used specifically with prepositions to make Latin words that we still use today. I'm gonna give you a quick, here's what a compound verb is. This is one we see all the time, okay? So really quick, X is a preposition, means out of. It means verb. Human means he, she, or it goes. So exit. The exit is where he, she, or it goes out of. So that's an exit. That's a Latin word we still use today. It's a compound word, preposition, irregular verb. There you go. That's all I have for you today. Make sure you take those notes. I'm sure um, you're going to have a good time. Get pumped for spring break. There we go. I'll see you guys. Bye.